Or this problem is very short. It says explain why 50 choose 49 is the same as 50 choose 1. So this is more of a, um, a theoretical problem. You can certainly prove it mathematically, but that's not very interesting in and of itself. Um, that's more of an algebra problem. It's pretty simple. Uh, we don't really want to do that. What we want to do is think about it from a counting point of view, from a combinatorics approach. Why would out of 50 things choosing 49 things be the same as out of 50 things choose one? Well, you know, if somebody told you here, you know, there are 50 items in this chest of drawers here and you can choose 49 of them to keep, you just can't have one, right? And basically, one way you can do that process, you could actually go through and pick the 49 things you wanted, right? So out of 50 things, you could choose 49. Or you could say, hmm, it might be simpler just to find the one item you don't want, right? Out of 50, thing, cho 50 things, choose the one item you don't want. And by default, you will be choosing the 49 things you do, right? So this is always true then in any case. So if you subtract these two numbers, that leftover amount would, you know, would be one, right? 50 minus 49 is one. And that, that makes sense then, of course, that if you choose just the one item instead of choosing the 49, by default, you will be picking the 49, right? It's like if you had you know, uh, 50 friends and you had to choose 49 of them to accompany you on a trip, but you, couldn't, you didn't have room for all 50, you could choose the 49 friends you wanted to go with you, or the other way to do the problem would be to say, well, let me just pick the one person I don't want to go with, and I'll, by default, we'll be choosing the 49 that I do want to go with. So logically, if we're talking about a counting problem, these two things must be the same. And of course, mathematically, they turn out to be the same, which is good, of course, because that means our, our formula for combinations makes intuitive sense.